Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom here from SBR Picks. The Clippers are on somewhat of a roll. Uh, they went five and one thus far on a seven game road trip and look to make it six and one tonight against the Utah Jazz. Here with me now to discuss the betting value is SBR sports writer Dave Golikoff. Dave, thanks for being here today. Hey, thanks for having me. Now, have you made money uh, betting them during this trip? Uh, well, me personally, no, but uh, anybody who's been backing the Clippers has done pretty well during this trip because the Clippers have gone, as you mentioned, 5-1 and one during this trip, coming off an impressive win against Houston last night. So if you have them in that spot, you're definitely cashing in. Mm -hmm. Well, they're five-and-a-half-point favorites right now. Is this a playable number in your view? Yeah, I think so. I think you stick with the Clippers. You know, sometimes... These back-to-back -back situations work against you, you know, road, uh, road games and fatigue. Sometimes when a team is on a roll, uh, these back-to-back -back situations don't deter me as much. And I think this is one of those uh, spots. You know, they did play last night in Houston, but they beat one of the better teams in the conference. Uh, this is a team that's, uh, the Clippers, that is, is making an ascent up the standings. They've got a lot of momentum going right now. And uh, although, as mentioned, they're on the road, back-to-back -back situations, going from Houston to Utah, uh, altitude could be a factor. I just, I think that they're playing so well right now that they're going to be more excited to just play another game and get this road trip uh, over with. Mm -hmm. Right. Any thoughts on which way to play the posted total of 199 points? Um, I would tend to lean under a little bit. Um, I think the Clippers, one of their... Uh, impressive factors has been uh, improved rebounding and good and better defense than what they showed earlier in the season uh, th during the stretch. I think Utah is kind of a hit or miss team when they play weaker defensive teams. Uh, they can get into the hundreds, um, but I think they're going to have a tough time in this spot, especially uh, because the Clippers should have a huge edge in rebounding here. All right. What's the best way to play this match, Dave? Uh, I'm going to lay the points with the Clippers. I actually saw this at four and a half earlier, and hopefully if you're betting the Clippers, uh, you got in at four and a half when the line opened. I think uh, maybe some people agree with me because if the lines climb to five and a half, uh, obviously some steam on the Clippers. But I think they're the play either way here. You know, they should have a huge edge in rebounding here, which I think will be the difference. Jazz are in the 20s, mid-20s for rebounding. Clippers are, you know, doing what they should have been doing since the beginning of the year, uh, you know, cleaning up those, uh, those rebounds and uh, on the offensive end, giving their, their own team uh, more opportunities. As far as Chris Paul, he's been fantastic. I think he's going to run circles around the Jazz point guard in this spot. He'll be dishing the ball around. And, uh, yeah, I just think uh, this is a good spot to take the Clippers here. All right, so take the Clippers for this match. Dave Golikoff, thanks for joining us today. All right. The Espeon Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.